Mister is a public transportation system for cities. Small, fully automatic, air-conditioned pods travel safely and independently on an overhead network of light guideways suspended 10 meters above the ground. The system is unaffected by adverse weather and will operate 24-7 in any climatic conditions. Mister moves when nothing else can. It can be used alongside heavily congested motorways, for journeys to airports and hospitals, and also for transporting freight and waste materials. Fuel costs, congestion and pollution can all be seriously reduced using Mister. The pods can travel at up to 70 kilometers per hour, taking an individual or up to five passengers directly to their destination with no stops en route. It's also possible to change the destination while in transit. Security features include military-grade wireless technology used in one of many fail-safe systems. Multiple cameras and sensors inside and outside each pod are constantly monitored on board and at base. The European Union has awarded a high technology grant of 10 million dollars to MISTER. By granting the award, the EU has validated the feasibility of the MISTER PRT system in all of its technical aspects and in its financial profitability. MISTER represents a quantum leap in transportation solutions. By eliminating traffic congestion, it minimizes air pollution. And by generating revenue, it removes the need for subsidies. It will be embraced by towns and cities worldwide. Estimated profits from MISTER systems are between $2 million and $10 million per year per kilometer of network, providing a return on investment of between one to five years. Time spent in traffic jams, waiting for buses, or crammed on trains will be a thing of the past. MISTER is the transport system of the future, available today. America's economic greatness has always depended on transportation. In the 18th century, it was canal. In the 19th century, it was the transcontinental railroad. In the 20th century, it was the development of the interstate highway system. And I would put forth the idea that in the 21st century, the network that will come to dominate the United States and the world will be pod car networks which more effectively serve the needs of our commerce and the movement of our people. The PRT is the holy grail for transportation engineers. And for those who swear by what some call the pod car, their mecca is a little town three hours west of Washington, D.C. Morgantown, West Virginia, where the only working pod car system in the world has been serving West Virginia University students for over 30 years. Morgantown is the safest transportation system in the world. It's in fact the best public transit you've never heard of. 70 million rides and zero fatalities. Performance like that in Washington, D.C. would save hundreds of lives and millions of dollars a year. Pod cars give us the opportunity to fundamentally change how we design our cities. We want to get back, I think, to walkable communities that aren't dominated by the needs and the conditions of using an automobile to move from one point to another. So if we're looking to make our cities safer and more livable, pod cars are going to be the method by which we achieve that goal. But most important, a sensitive, highly communicative pod could end the slaughter on the world's highways that claims over a million lives each year and costs billions of dollars. Worldwide, it's something like 1.2 million, so it's a tremendous loss of life. The financial cost of these accidents is, uh, and not just fatalities, but accidents, is 3% of the world's GDP. 50 years ago, we couldn't have built these types of systems. But with advances in material science, computer technology, and manufacturing, these systems can be built, and they must be built.